So in this step, we're going to mount the NeoPixels, the WS2812Bs, um, onto the main board of the four-digit uh, Wemos Nixie clock, which is here in its uh, 3D printed case, as you can see. Um, and what we're actually going to do is, this is the main board, and you're looking now at the back side of the main board, and that shines through onto the holes um, through the tubes. So some people are worried uh, about the concept of um, surface mount soldering. And to be honest, there's not it's not a lot harder than doing normal soldering. The components are a bit smaller, um, but the main point is you have to have a pair of tweezers. Um, and you have to have um, some thin solder, and that's about it. So I'm using 0.6mm solder here, but nothing other than that is very special. So the way I do it is, first of all, um, um, I put the components into place by soldering or putting a blob of solder onto one of the pads of each of the components first of all. So I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to run down the, um, the decoupling capacitor places and I'm going to put a blob of solder on them. So there we go. One blob. You see on the other pad I'm actually leaving um, it, it clear. So, and now for the NeoPixels, again, just putting a blob of solder on one pad. Um, now what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to take the components and we're going to heat the pad with the solder on it and slide the component into place. So it has to be flat to the board and we're heating just the, reflowing the solder there and that was it. That's all there is to it. And we're going to do the second one, and again, the same thing. Component in place with the tweezers, and reflow the solder so it sticks into place. It's nothing to really be worried about. It's just a technique like anything else. Now, the capacitors I'm using here are actually um, a bit smaller than they should be. They're 805s. Um, the ones you'll probably get are going to be 1206s. Um, but the principle is the same. And now all we do is we run down the other side of the components and uh, solder the other pad into place. And that was it. And now we repeat, repeat the same uh, process with the uh, NeoPixels. Now you see on here there's actually a little kind of a notch um, indicated on the component. And that has to match up with the notch on the component itself. Um, and again, it's the same procedure. We're going to get the tweezers, we're going to align the component, we're going to then slide it into place while we reflow the solder. We have to get hold of the component first though. Okay, so reflow the solder and slide it into place. And now that's going to stay where we put it. It's got enough uh, solder on there to keep it in place. Um, you have a chance to realign it if anything goes wrong. I seem to be getting a bit lucky here. Um, uh, look, so there we go. I just reflowed it and shifted the component a little bit there. Um, that, in principle, is the trick of hand soldering these components. Okay, fourth one, fourth and final one. And then what we'll end up doing is uh, we will solder the other three pads on the NeoPixel. Okay, so just with the solder as normal, what we're going to do is heat the pad and apply the solder and it will wick up underneath the, the component. You have to be a bit careful not to uh, fill up any of the other holes um, because they're a pain in the butt to, uh, to, to, to free up again. But it's the same principle. Heat the pad, apply the solder to the pad, the solder will flow onto the pad and it will wick up onto the, um, the surface mount pad underneath the, the NeoPixel. And this one, the final one, that's it, we're done. That's, that was the step.